welcome to um, a sort of a guide video slash explanation video on my playoffs run in the LDL Evolution League. Um, I kind of stopped doing videos of uh, LDL Evolution League because, I don't know, I kind of wasn't feeling it. Uh, and then uh, at one point, I even kind of stopped playing the games. But since in this league, the way it works, you know, if both players are are uh, unable to battle then they both get a forfeit win which actually made me go to playoffs so i made playoffs so welcome to my playoff run dude from ldo and a kind of a guide video on how to um use mega ampharos in league battles if you don't if you don't know i drafted a mega ampharos and um well my entire team consisted of manaphy arcanine uh togekiss amoongus uh freaking bronzong donphan crabominable audino Tyranitar, Shulman uh, as a meme pick, and, well, of course, uh, Mega Ampharos. And, like, looking at it, um, the, the, or I, I guess let's let's look at a little bit of a stats first, if I could be professional enough to uh, do this thing. Um, transition! There we go. Uh, Mega Ampharos has some nice stats. Like, special attack, of, uh, of course, is the one thing that you're going to want to look out for and it's bulky right it has it, it has nice bulk it has a, a, a amazing special attack and it hits super hard like actually it hits super hard dude it's it's crazy how hard mega Am, uh ampharos oh fuck off how hard mega ampharos uh hits uh and it gets you momentum like move wise you're not gonna have you're not gonna have uh too much options offensively right offensively you're not gonna have too much options uh it's kind of standard uh it's gonna be thunderbolt dragon pulse uh volt switch and hidden power i guess signal beam for the grass types but that's pretty much all the coverage you need there's there's nothing really that so i don't i wouldn't say personally that mega Ampharos suffers from uh from having a lack of uh, like lack, a lack of moves especially since you in league draft format uh in league in draft league format whatever you say it I think uh, it is well. You can you can cover it if there is a specific mod that uh, well, you know, gets uh, freaking countered by Mega Ampharos, like a Steelix, let's say, because it, it resists uh, Dragon, uh, but is immune and it is immune to Electric. You have your team to support that to to have switches into it. Um, so yeah, uh, you know it's 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 fine. It's it's really fine uh, because other than that, you can either toxic a ground type if it's gonna be a defensive ground type. You can predict the switching and throw a toxic on uh, Mega Ampharos, which I did quite a lot in the league. Um, by the way, I want to do I wanted to do this because spoiler, I did well in playoffs with uh, Mega Ampharos, and I wanted to kind of showcase that. Uh, it's it's not that hard to get kills with with a low tiered mega because mega Ampharos is considered the low tier mega. Um, it's it's nicknamed Amphabulous, of course because shout out to the humble haunter bitch that coming the the master it's about to get faster stuff like that. Um, like even you it gets focus blast okay right. Uh, but I I if if you want to run that versus a Steelix that's fine but you're probably gonna miss and then you're gonna die um also i just want to say this the amount of hacks dude the amount of hacks my mega ampharos received specifically specifically ampharos in this league dude it is unprecedented it is honestly oh unbelievable dude so versus a freaking shaman i know i can take it i know i can take an earth power uh mega ampharos can take an earth power no mine gets a crit mine gets crit oh ooh, that's still ooh, burns and then you take you take a dragon move and you can kill it with your own dragon move nope crit dude let's go let's crit big mega ampharos for trillion and let's whoo okay okay however um so yeah, that's just it. Um, in terms of offense, you either go a little bit of speed to outspeed, um, kind of like the slow stally mons versus. Actually, Mega Ampharos is gonna work better versus a bulky team, right? It it has the the power to slowly pick it apart, or actually, you know, just destroy it straight up. Um, if you go versus hyper offense, I'd recommend a more of an agility team. Uh, I mean agility set because with agility it's it's a slow mod yes but with agility you can you can still get pretty pretty fast and you can outspeed quite some mods dude it's like you can 
outspeed a Tapu Koko. Let's say, for example, just knowing that as four. I mean, can you? Yeah, you can. You can outspeed a Tapu Koko in base one thirties. I think you can actually outspeed what base one thirty fives as well. Uh, so like Mega Manectric. You can outspeed Mega Manectric, uh, and Mega Manectric gives you, like, freaking setup as well. So, oh shit, my hair, dude. So, yeah, um, versus bulky stall, or stall teams, uh, this boy ver works nice. It can slowly pick apart the team, especially with, like, Vol Switch and getting momentum into some team support. Uh, in terms of drafting, uh, I mean, in, ter in terms of team members, it's pretty obvious. Uh, you need something to take care of uh, ground types. And fairy types, which is why Bronzong. I I've had so much fun using Bronzong, dude. Uh, I mean, not fun. I had so much success in using Bronzong because Bronzong is just uh, Bronzong and Mega Ampharos is just like a super good combination. Uh, in terms of resisting fairies uh, and ground, Bronzong is there to take it. It sets up Stealth Rocks as well, which is uh, and it can provide it with Trick Room support. So. Um, Trick Room, I've run Trick Room uh, Mega Ampharos as well in the entire league. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, depends on the matchup, really. Uh, but as I was saying, uh, Mega Ampharos is pretty good, dude. It's pretty good. So let's kind of... Okay, okay. I didn't, I didn't, I actually want to do that. Because I'm professional like that. Uh... <laughs> But ain't no one else doing that funny type rap, dude. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Yes. Um, do you mind? Do you mind? Do you? You're just watching my face. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a pretty face, dude. It's, it's a good looking face. So, um, I don't think you should be, uh, that worried. Uh. uh oh my God, dude! I am actually retarded. Uh. There we go. Oh, no, that's going to bother me. Okay, so let's... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why am I even in studio mode for this? Why am I not just... God damn it. There we go. So, yeah. This is my first uh, round of playoffs, dude. Um, and in first round of playoffs, I guess you're going to see the team builder again. Let's put it over here so you can... Uh, so I can kind of talk about my teams. First round of playoffs. I'm going to be real with you, Chief. I had no prep whatsoever. I picked up... Six mons that were in my box. Um, I picked up six mons that were in my box and I just went for it. This is this was a rematch from week five, I think. So I don't... Uh, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Um, okay, so how the, the game went. I decided to lead off. Looking at the matchup, there's no ground type. So that means free Volt Switch. Again, food for Mega Ampharos. Food for Mega Ampharos. Um... Oh yeah, Moongus is also very good, although not the best grass type, because uh, it doesn't resist ground. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm all over the place. You know what, let's just play the goddamn video. Um... I let off with Mega Ampharos because there's absolutely no uh, switching into this. And he leads off with, spoiler, Haxers. We can do uh, double uh, 1.5 speed. And here I'm determined to stay in. Honestly, I, I know I know I wanted to play this aggressive, especially since in uh, in our first match with this opponent, uh, we I had I had a Togekiss that was here ready to take a plus one poison jab and kill it off with dazzling gleam. So I know that he is not gonna want to go for uh, for a freaking dragon type move because I have a Togekiss healthy. So I just decided to stay in because he is gonna go for either poison jab or a dragon dance and I. First of all, can't let him let him set up, and he actually just switches out and straight up I mega evolve. Okay, click Dragon Pulse, and you're you're gonna see like look at this damage, dude. That's what I'm telling you. Mega Ampharos does so much damage, and that's a Kong Kelder, dude. Kong Kelder is bulky as shit. Kong Kelder doesn't die. Kong Kelder is just takes hits, and look at that damage. It's it's granted it's it's life orb, not not assault vest, but so uh, you know it does a lot of damage. So I decide to volt switch out because I don't want to uh, stay in and uh, get the thing to do the thing, and I decide to I think throw off my rocks because this was my rocker. Um, honestly, this is I kind of don't 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 remember exactly how this went so uh let me make myself a little bit slower i take stone edge this is this is a quarterfinals uh 
match. And I kind of, you know, this is this one went kind of okay. Uh, wasn't too big of a problem. The circuitry, I always had the Moongas to switch into circuitry, although I had uh, freaking uh, this thing. Also, Audino, dude. My Audino gets paralyzed. No, not uh, not just Audino. The, the amount of, actually, this entire league was super haxy for me, dude. I, I don't think I've ever played a match that was, that was this haxy. My Audino got paralyzed all the time, dude. My Amoongas got paralyzed all the time and frozen. Um... And, uh, which I, I guess I, I want to talk a, a little bit about this. Um, and cause spoiler, I win, I go to, I advance to semifinals and in the semifinals, I had to fight Zeminon, dude, which, uh, he was in my division and, uh, we, we fought twice already. And, oh, this turn, apparently I, I, since this was just a random freaking uh, Ampharos from the PC box, I wasn't fast enough to outspeed. The, the Gus Lord, so it was actually faster, but whoo, Mega Ampharos takes it, dude, whoo, that was Ajax, but yeah, um, uh, in terms of Zeminon, we, we battled in uh, semi-finals again, which was the third time facing off against each other, um, and the second time he did, he actually beat me, and the amount of hacks that was, I mean, he, be he beat me because he froze my Amoongus, and he froze my something else. They were double freeze with Ice Punch from Mega Swampert. And I was just, oof, oof. Like, this entire league, I'm telling you, even, okay, no spoilers, but even you're going to see in this video, the hacks, the amount of hacks in this league, see, get, Amoongus gets paralyzed, and this is this is getting scary, because at plus, I, I went for Toxic. I went for Toxic, so I, I basically, now I have to waste another turn Toxicing this shit, and he, he can just set up Dragon Dances, but I feel like I played well around this. I, I shuffled some Intimidates with Arcanine, you know, that's always nice to have. Um, and yeah, this 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 was a freaking freaking uh, GG, dude. And this this replays are going so slow, kind of. He just keeps dragon dancing. There's no reason not to. But wh while he, I mean, now that he is toxic, toxic, um, there's no reason for me to like uh, be scared of it because I can just again shuffle intimidates and sack mods that aren't necessary, which uh, Audino was too low. And um, unfortunately, oh my god, unfortunately I had to sack Mega Ampharos. I feel I feel bad every time um, I have to sack Mega Ampher Ampharos. Uh, but like, oh, it hurts me. It physically hurts me. But you know what? Um, winning is more important than getting kills, I guess, in the end of the day. Um, that is still two, two kills for Mega Ampharos. In just uh, this one game of playoffs, so that's that's pretty good, dude. That's pretty good. Um, I wish here because I know I I wish is better. Um, even if he do, does the thing, doesn't get the poison. That's nice stuff. Things, uh, whatever. Um, uh, three times the speed should be fast enough. Again, as I said, Amoogus uh, is here. It's safe. It's it's fine. I have stomping tantrum. Uh, my Arcanine was a salt fest, by the way, so it can take on this thing. Uh pretty well uh it's uh, it's it was like crunch flare blitz i think wild charge and extreme speed uh, might have been i don't actually remember um but yeah the moongas here is just always safe and um actually you're gonna see here that the moongas is the the freaking mvp dude <laughs> like watch this watch this <laughs> moongas kills off first off the circuitry with stomping tantrum and then it takes uh, a freaking flamethrower from a blacephalon dude Amoongus takes a flamethrower from a Blacephalon and it kills it off with a stomping tantrum. So yeah, um, Amoongus is, is, is a pretty cool dude. Amoongus is freaking awesome, dude. I love Amoongus. Um, but yeah, uh, that is it for this match. That was the quarterfinals. So moving on to semifinals. Uh, looking at the team, as I said already, uh, we are playing Zeminon. Um, go check him out. I will probably forget to... Uh, leave the link in the description, but yeah, go go check him out by all means. Uh, rain team, right? Rain team that I'm facing the third time around, and this time I did actually prep, and yeah, I had a fast, bulky support, fast bulky th thing, uh, Togekiss, which outspeeds the Ludicolo, and yeah, the Ludicolo. And anything that's slower, which means the Pelipper, the Swampert, Outside of Rain, and the Incineroar as well. And it has like uh, Sunny Day, Roost, Air Slash, and Nasty, nasty Plot, I think. Um, Audino was specially defensive, I think. Uh, Brownzong, physically defensive with Leftovers, or was it Z? No, it was Z Ground, I think. It was Z Ground. And then Choice Banded, freaking, what's it called? Choice Banded, uh... 
Dawn fan, Choice Bandit Dawn fan, which because I, I I chose to go Choice Bandit because the first time around I was a Sawfest, the second time around I think I was Grass Knot, uh, no I was I was uh, Rindo Berry for Grass Knot, uh, uh, and this time I just decided to go straight up Bandit because Pelipper doesn't switch into knockoff, neither does the Celebi, um, nor but basically nothing takes knockoff. Earthquake does a lot of damage. Uh, to anything on his team and yeah, that's pretty nice Amoonga standard physically defensive to not be too hit KO'd by um, Swampert though, I think my set was pretty bad and then agility and Feroz, dude agility because agility has such a nice uh, Sweep rate like nothing switches in um, with hidden power grass agility uh, Thunderbolt and Dragon Pulse uh, It's I it, it's it can easily sweep right so I decide to lead off with uh, my Togekiss because because I predicted his Pelipper lead. He he led Pelipper twice before, so that's fine. I can just you know get up a sunny day and be good with it. Uh, Drizzle is fine if he wants to switch out straight out uh, straight up into Ludicolo or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, sunny day. Ice Beam can't freeze me in the sun, bitch. Uh, so that's that's also a nice side effect of sunny day. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, Hidden Power Grass does seventy percent to the Swampert. So that's super nice. The Zero Aura is kind of a problem, but you know, I can play around it easily. I decide to go for knockoff because there's two switches. This thing switches in and the Celebi switches in uh, and the thing, but that's fine. Giga Drain, uh, here I Trick Room, he Rain Dances. I think that was a very good Trick Room on my part because now I can, he was a Z, -maw, Z, Z, Z item, Z Crystal, because uh, if he wasn't, if he was like Life Orb, he just died to knockoff. That's why Choice Bandit uh, Dawn Fan was the play there. So this thing, Mercy gets burned again, dude. All the 30%. I already know just can't catch a break, dude. Okay, I, I I hear protected. I wasted my own trick room turns, right? Did I? Did I really? No, because, well, his reign lasts for the same amount as my trick room. So that's, you know, totally fine. Um, switch out to this, just kind of waste around, uh, switch out. Uh, all right. Mega plays, dude. I switch out on the turn that Trick Room ends, uh, and on the turn that Rain ends, which means that my Togekiss ha w was a timid nature and is designed to outspeed this and kill with Air Slash, uh, and that is exactly what happens. And it's super nice, dude. Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. That was mad plays on my part. This thing, I don't know why he actually brought this thing in because I am kind of designed to take you on, especially in Rain. So I, I lose nothing by going for an air slash which by the way by the way i haven't gotten a single flinch of air slash this entire league there might have been one or two but i i actually don't remember flinching anything with air slash so whoever is telling you that serene grace air slash is a win con is a lucky son of a bitch dude i mean probably just because of how this entire league went uh, but you know what i move Ooh, I go for Air Slash, you know, I lose nothing for it. He, the best he can do is Flare Blitz, and that's going to take a lot of damage. And I don't get a flinch. And here, uh, I roost because I'm low, uh, and that's fine. Zero Aura switches in. I have Rocks up, so I'm, I'm completely fine with what's happening here. Uh, he switches out into this thing. I double out. Uh, I guess he predicted my Dawn Fan or Amoongus, which, again, is not a favorable f position for me, so I switch out uh, into Odino. Odino here can do anything. I throw off in Toxic. So I will indeed throw off a Toxic. Um, if the Pelipper, you know, is chipped down, that's fine. Toxic on this bitch is super nice as well. <laughs> so that's nice. It's actually going kind of fast. Is it? Nah, it's fine. Um, so yeah, having this thing Toxic is fine. I can switch into Amoongus. Amoongus takes a lot of uh, hits. He sets up Stealth Rock of his own. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of bad, but that's kind of all right as well. Uh, so with this thing, I doubled out. Did I double out? No, I Toxic. I Toxic. So this thing is Toxic as well. Um, the oh, I I made a prediction right because I knew he wasn't gonna stay in because if he stays in, that's that's a lot of damage. Grass knot. I had grass knot over Giga Drain um, this week, and grass knot is just basically a Elko from from fall. Uh, if it's not like a bulky set, uh, so yeah, that's why I decided to throw off a toxic. Even looking at already the toxic uh, thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, this I switch into this because it's safe in, in the rain. It's fine. U turn. Uh, and he goes in, okay, this is kind of a choke in my opinion. Uh, I decided to stay in. I thought that he was going to, you know, predict the Amoongus, uh, go for Ice Punch. Um, so I should have, I, I thought of switching into 
Like, it, it was kind of a tough play. Uh, but I decided to stay in and try to get a defog off. Uh, and he just goes for a waterfall and kills me. And it's like, okay, uh, is it a play that... It's, I wouldn't say it's a choke necessarily, especially if I... Uh, if he went for Ice Punch, because uh, it turns out later on that my Amoongus was a wrong set and could be, it was it was careful instead of uh, bold or some shit like that. I don't know. Uh, I think, it, I don't know what it was, but yeah, it, it was to hit KO'd by Ice Punch, actually. So uh, switching it in, uh, not good. So here, again, we have the same situation. Uh, he's poisoned, but I predict to switch out again because I, I know that he's going to want to save this. And I click Sludge Bomb on a prediction and I actually get lucky, dude, and get a, uh, a poison myself. I don't think this mattered in the long run because, uh, yeah, this Celebi wasn't really doing anything. It was just kind of here, uh, which allows me to get up my Stealth Rocks. Uh, I guess Trick Room first. Yeah, Trick Room first, then set up the Stealth Rocks. And then watch this, this set of plays, right? I'm fast, I am fast, I am fast freaking Ampharos. I am fast Ampharos. And I'm actually faster than the Pelipper uh, outside the Trick Room. So I can't switch into I can't switch into Ampharos right now. I need to waste my own Trick Room turns like turns again, which I do by going into Audino. So I Toxic first, just because having this thing Toxic is mighty fine. He Hurricanes, that's fine. Uh, one more turn of Trick Room. I expecting expecting no. There's there's I per right. One more turn of two more turns of Trick Room actually two more turns of Trick Room. Uh, I switch into Mega Ampharos, predicting a Hurricane. That's fine. He goes for Defog. That's even better. A Trick Room is still up, mind you. But it is the last turn, so I can Agility freely, dude. I can I can just Mega Evolve, Agility, and that is exactly what I do. And all of his team is low, dude. All of his team is toxic, either in range or can't kill me. The Zero Aura is not in range, but it can't kill me. I mean, it's a roll for the Zero Aura. But yeah, Agility here, and the Trick Room ends, and that is just... BAM! Dragon Pulse! Let's go, dude! Uh, kill one of them. Zero Aura. Okay. Here, I decided to Agility again. Why? Because I was modest and not... Jo no, because... Uh, Swampert in the rain still outspeeds me. Which means that... Uh, this gives me an opportunity to be faster than the Swampert in the rain and kill it with Hidden Power Grass. Uh, which is why I go for another agility. He goes for a close combat and drops his defense, which means that Dragon Pulse is now does 102% minimum, so that's a dead zero aura. Bam, another one. This boy is gonna die because it's in red and it's low. Um, I'm pretty sure he 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 expected uh, hidden powered grass from uh, my Ampharos, and I I thought I had it, but I didn't because. Switching in, you know, the, the, the sign says, tell, tells you not a normal effectiveness. Uh, so, yeah, I, I didn't have Hidden Power Grass, but I, so I wanted to preserve this. Still, I got four kills from Mega Ampharos. Uh, bam, look at that. That's a that's a two-hit KO easily, dude. Uh, so, yeah, um, you know, four kills for Mega Ampharos. And I actually managed to win this one. So, I go, and the crit, dude, the crit. But it's fine. The Mercy can die, you know, Mercy can die. And, uh... And the uh, LSD man just finishes off this monster with, with grass now. And I made the finals, Ma! Ma! I made the finals! Uh, and the finals are, are going to be another rematch versus um, someone else that I've played uh, before. And this was a week, I don't know when, what week, but uh, I did I did prep for this match again. I did prep for it uh, because, you know, it's the finals. So here's the here's the finals, dude. Um, Odino... Especially defensive. Uh, Rindo, Barry, Donphan for grass nodding freaking Nihilego. Because Nihilego almost swept me in the end because I sacked my bronze on way too fast, dude. Uh, Amoongus is just Amoongus, just regular. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, what am I saying, dude? Audino's not fast. Audino's, I mean, uh, Audino's not standard bulky. Uh, Audino is fast. A jolly Audino, dude. A jolly Audino with enough speed to outspeed a Marowak. Because if I outspeed a Marowak and I knock it off, it becomes useless, dude. It becomes absolutely useless. Because otherwise, Marowak is... It does so much damage for no reason whatsoever. Why did they give it Bone Club, dude? What the... Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? But yeah, no. If I knock it off, it becomes useless. And that's perfect. And I can just 1v1 it with Wish Protect, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's why I had a fast Audino, dude. A fast Audino. Um, then Max HP... Leftovers, uh, Taunt, 
Dragon Dance, Crunch, Pursuit, freaking Tyranitar. That was a dope sad set as well. Then standard uh, Bronzong with Rock stuff, stuff like that. And again, Agility, Ampharos. Again, Agility, Ampharos, because it works. Again, you can see uh, Dragon Pulse has a lot of damage to ground types that aren't bulky, which is Marowak is not bulky at all. So Dragon Pulse is like 70%, which is not that hard to put 30% chip on on, on, on a mod. It's, it's really not that hard. So yeah, um, it was Agility, Charge Beam, Dragon Pulse, and Thunderbolt. So Charge Beam, Agility, dude. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Great set, great set. Charge Beam, Agility, Charge Beam, Agility. Mwah. Again, mwah. Um, however, you know, let's 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 start this. I lead off with Audino in case he'd want to lead off with Marowak because I think he led off with Marowak the first time around. So um, yeah, leads off with the Galvantula to set up sticky webs. That's fine. I, I'm just gonna throw off a toxic because nothing appreciates a toxic. And then a knockoff. Um, and lucky here, dude. Lucky here. First off, Audino took so much damage from that. There's no reason you should... There's no reason your Audino should take that much damage from a Galvantula, dude. That is fast Audino. That is not bulky at all. Yeah, invest in special defense, dude. <laughs> My dude, is invest in special defense. Because there's no reason Audino should take that much damage. So yeah, I knock off the Life Orb. That's fine. You know, that's whatever. Uh, I, I switch out because of Regenerator. I have this, this boy here. And he has Stomping Tantrum again. Uh, for Kinihilego, it's specially defensive, so it's fine. Um, Bug Buzz, uh, special defense drop. I, I wanna, I wanna keep a count. That's number two hacks. Number two, uh, number of hacks. Because, not because, well, not because it mattered, but, uh, just because I think it's funny. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the second, second, uh, act, sa second happening of hacks. Now, here... Amoongus, I'm sorry, buddy. He did so well for me, dude. He he's 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 in the co leader as well, I think, which is kind of stupid. But it, like Amoongus did so well, but I don't have a switch into this, right? I don't have a switch in into Victini, especially if he's maybe banded. I uh, I don't have a switch in, so I just kind of have to sack off the Victini, um, and the Victini dies, and then I can go I can go into my Tyranitar freely. Uh, I can go into my Tyranitar, click Crunch. Or pursuit, whichever uh, you know matters doesn't matter really. Um, I click pursuit. Why did I click pursuit? Honestly, uh, because even if he stays in, I can take any hit he goes for. I can take a brick break and max HP. Um, so I take even a life orb uh, brick break, which he wasn't. He was expert belt. I took a life orb brick break, uh, and in pursuit at minus one, he had the minus one drop from. Uh, What's it called? From from V crate, so minus one defense, uh, which means that pursuit puts it in range of sand and it dies either way, right? So pursuit was my, my best play here. If he was scarf or it banded, whatever, uh, I can tell if he was banded because I died. Uh, so yeah, um, sand stream, um, break break. That's three. That is three. He crits me. I, I don't know if, if you saw that. So let's 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 roll it a little bit back. Let's put it in normal speed because I I, I take this hit, dude. I take this hit. Um, pursuit. By the way, pursuit has a chance to not kill. Uh, I mean to not die, kill with sand, but still would have been better. The damage would have still been better because then I can just go to either Dawn Fan uh, and do something with that. But yeah, okay. At this point, that's really bad, dude. That's really bad, and I'm so behind i have to go into dawn fan and try to make a play here i have to try to do something with it right so i do go into dawn fan and i click rapid spin um like if he if he stayed in and put some damage on my boy that that would have been really bad but he does u-turn okay so that's fine that's actually a really good play on my part i rapid spin uh this cresselia is stupid i have toxic so um i toxic i toxic because having cresselia toxic is absolutely amazing um a lot of th these matches were played very passively, or my, my team is kind of bulky, annoying to break uh, with double regenerator core and uh, just toxicing everything. And then uh, it's not stall. I wouldn't say it's stall uh, because it's it's bulky offense. It's I, I'd say it's bulky offense. 
Um, but having chipping everything down is so nice for Mega Ampharos again. Uh, so yeah, that, that's. By the way, we have we are currently six and one in only only in playoffs for Mega Ampharos. Six and one only in playoffs so far. Um, so yeah, I don't miss the toxic, which is nice. It's that's appreciated. Uh, you know, I don't. But I am still in the back. I am still in the back uh, because of everything. Um, but yeah, my bronze on here is is very safe. And I, that it he gives me stealth rocks. He absolutely does give me stealth rock, um, which Bronzong is kind of the MVP on, of my team. I don't know, Amoongus, Bron Bronzong, Ordino, uh, they're all dope. Uh, so yeah, this boy comes in and like, okay, knockoff is gonna hurt, but I need this. I I can't I can't let get I can't get knocked off uh, with my Bronzong because if I do, uh, first of all, it's gonna do a shit ton of damage. Second of all, I need. Bronzong healthy for the Nihi Lego, dude. Because Nihi Lego or Nihi Lego, uh, Nihi Lego is a problem, dude. And it can easily sweep me with Beast Boost. So I just um, have to switch out and basically sack, uh, right? Basically sack. So he knocks off my friend Oberry. And he, at this point, uh, honestly, I thought I was going to lose uh, because of, you know, how big the crit was and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, my hope here is that he is bulky. And if he is bulky, I need to Earthquake to put it in range of freaking Dragon Pulse. Uh, and I do exactly that. I am faster. Luckily, that does a lot of damage, which is it's like 60-ish, which makes it in range of freaking Dragon Pulse. And since my Dawn Fan outspeed, that means my Ampharos is absolutely, absolutely going to outspeed as well. So I go into Ampharos, click Dragon Pulse, and this is such a huge play, dude. Uh, so another kill for Mega Ampharos, that's, first of all, that's amazing. Um, second of all, if this Marowak lived, I just die. I, there's, there's nothing on my team that can do anything, right? So, uh, yeah, I do, I do. It's not a roll because it did, it does like 72% minimum, which is like, what is the damage, dude? Uh, so here switches into Porygon. I have my Audino healthy still, so that's, you know, a safe play. I can, I can shuffle my regenerator. Uh, I can try to knock it off. I can try to knock this bitch off, making it uh, better. Uh, so yeah, Cresselia gets knocked off. It's fine. Bye, bitch. Um, whew, I've been talking for, for, long, for a long time. Just 30 minutes, dude. Okay. Oh, boy. He withdraws, predicting my um, Bronzong, right? It's such an easy... And I predicted that. It's such an easy play to predict Bronzong. Uh, which is why I thought that he was gonna want to switch out. I didn't want to go for double knockoff. I could I could go for like protect or some shit like that. But um, I do actually switch into uh, Mega Afros, uh, and Mega Afros can take any hit from a Victini, which gives me an agility, dude. It gives me an agility. Um, so yeah, U turns out that's fine. Agility. Here we go again, boys. Here we go again, boys. Gotta go fast. Um, I don't know what what set this Cresselia was. Uh, it it could be. It, it was combined, psychic, it, moonblast probably, and moonlight. I think it could be toxic moonlight. There's there's nothing that doesn't say it couldn't be toxic, and I couldn't risk it. I couldn't. I could have gone for charge beam here and started boosting, and I would have been great. But uh, I I kind of didn't want to risk it. But yeah, that's another kill, dude, for Mega Ampharos. How many is that? That's seven now, right? No. Is it? It's it's eight. It's eight only. It's eight only in playoffs, dude. This turn, dude. Uh, this turn hurt me physically. Um, not this one. The next one. Um, uh, I take any hit from Aniki Lego. He was actually modest because he did a lot of damage later on. Uh, but I take it and I can charge me. Number four of the hacks count. And this is huge, actually. This is actually huge. Because Charge Beam does like 25% minimum. Uh, or 22. Maybe it's 22. That's 22%. Which means that from over here, it goes to over here. This is 20%. And this is 30% of the entire thing. And at plus one. Like... I would be okay, okay? Like, listen, I'd be fine with not getting a boost from Charge Beam. It's 70%. I'd be fine with not getting it. But 
missing the charge beam. Why? Why? Like, assuming I get I get the boost, this does seventy percent, and it's 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 game over. Then it's absolutely game over. But like missing that, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna give the code to uh to no no I'm not I'm not killing my anthra. So I switch out um uh, and I click what what do I click toxic? I click toxic. Yeah, predicting the switch out. I know he can't stay in. He's probably locked in with scarf modest scarf or some shit like that. So I click toxic, and at this point, it is pretty much over i would say um it's not over yet no it's definitely not but having the portico on toxic it makes it useless uh all you know here uh how eating it up dude eating it up and that's a plus one hit that's a plus one hit so i can just i can just wish here freely wish protect wish actually no here i tried to pass a wish i tried to pass a wish here into my Ampharos because i i really wanted to do something with it and i thought that maybe this is the turn that he recovers and if he does recover uh, i get a free pass uh, a wish pass into Ampharos and i can do something with that uh, and try to get a cheeky thunderbolt kill uh you know for, from being in range but he actually does decide to just go for ice beam uh i think i'm pretty sure i took thunderbolt as well no at plus one probably not but, but yeah uh ice, ice beam is a good play um and my Mega Ampharos does actually die. Uh, but at this point, um, the Victini can still win easily. Uh, absolutely, with no pressure, the Victini can still win. So my play here is to wish and not get paralyzed. My play wasn't to protect. Because if I protect it, I'm actually in range of a V-Create. Uh, so I can't do that. Uh, which is why my play here is wish and hopefully I don't get paralyzed. And I do actually manage to get the wish off. Um... And next turn, I have to protect and not get paralyzed. And does that happen? Find out next. Find out next time. Like my Odino, I swear to God, Odino, Mercy. I'm a Mercy main. I'm not a Mercy main. But like, holy shit, dude. The the work that Odino put in um, in this final match, dude. Incredible. Uh, like, not getting paralyzed. Especially not getting paralyzed, dude. Not getting paralyzed. I can't stress it enough. Because oh. I, I, I thought... I, I saw the para. When playing the game, I saw the para already. Um, and I was just like, oh, no. Don't do this to me. But, yeah. In the end of the day, there goes freaking Bronzong with the Chira Ball. And we are the champions, my friends. We are the champions, my friends. Do 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 do. We'll keep on fighting to the end. Do 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 do. So yeah, GG's to all of my opponents. Like um, uh, I don't know. If you wanna, if you're excited for the slow bros to be the champions of LDL Evolution League, I made it to the main league, ma. ma. Look at me, I made it to the main league, ma. Um. Uh, yeah, if you're excited, I don't know. Cop, cop a Slovenia Slow Bros hoodie or a t-shirt. Uh, support, support the Slow Bros, dude. Um, feels good, dude. Feels good. Feels nice. This is actually my first ever championship, um, like official one or whatever. Uh, so which is why I wanted to record it, ha -ha. which is why I wanted, which is why I recorded it, haha. -ha. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, nothing can stop me now, ma. Nothing can stop me now. Um, so, yes. Um, that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments. <coughs> I got eight kills with Mega Ampharos just in playoffs, dude. You can't... You, I don't want to hear shit, dude. I don't want to hear shit. And I got, I got, I think eight in the regular season, which were, which was like six games played. And I swear to God, if, mm, if, if hacks this didn't exist, right? If hacks didn't exist, I'd have twenty five, dude, easily, easily. Uh, so yeah, um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, what mega should I draft next, actually? What mega do you think uh, underperforms? And what mega... Is there a mega that you'd want to see me put in work? Uh, so, yeah. Let me know uh, in the comment section below. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Uh, let's go slow, bros. Uh, share this video with your friends because that is always appreciated. Remember, you're loved, you're cherished, you're appreciated. And that is it for me. Thank you for watching. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. And bye-bye.